and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about electric e-bikes specifically about what I think should be and maybe it will be coming next since they recently put out the XP or I should say the XP which is a mountain bike they st still have one bike that's missing in their collection and that would be the moped style e-bike I think it's time they got into the moped style e-bike world along with some other uh, companies that are already there I mean they should take a page out of the uh, ride one up maybe do something like the rev one but they've got you know all the other they got a trike they got a cargo folding bikes they've got now the mountain bike they have I think they need uh, the moped style so we'll see what happens but uh, here's some of the things I think if they are going to do the moped style e-bike here's what they should have on it this is my opinion this is minimum and uh, so I think they should have on it a minimum of 52 volt I think the motor should be a minimum 1000 watt I'm not going to ask for much uh, we're going to ask for a 20 amp hour minimum of 52 volt uh, battery and we're going to ask for fenders twenty by four inch tires uh, minimum twenty five amp controller preferably thirty but twenty five would be okay um, I think twenty five would be okay I mean thirty would be good but uh Those are just some of the things that I would choose. Uh, probably a BMX style handlebars. And hydraulic brakes, which I'm sure they would do because they're doing that from now on on all their bikes, it seems like anyway. So that's probably a given. And maybe, uh, some choices of color uh, maybe uh, change up their color a little bit add a few more new colors that they don't already have spice it up a little and let me think what else now the other thing is the full suspension would be nice but that might jack the price up a bit much um, but it would be good but if, if all of this is done and we're keeping the price at uh, $2,000 though uh, that might be uh, asking for a bit too much but if they could do that as well that'd be great and while we're at it and asking for preferences I would like turn signals front and rear and a nice long seat is always good because then if you're a taller rider 
you can sit back a little more and also uh, the seat height I like 31 inches that's my I think that's my pick for a seat height I know taller riders that are over six feet are gonna say wow that's pretty small so that's why I think uh, if you have a long seat you can sit back farther on the bike so kind of helps there too and let's have the bike be a class three top speed at least uh, 30 miles per hour there you go that's my choices for the I can't say soon to, to be because I don't know if they're ever going to have make one but I got to think at some point they will and uh, why not be their next bike the electric X moped there you go that sounds pretty cool X moped e-bike I better say it that way moped style that's it so if you've got any uh, any uh, opinions on what you'd like to see on the bike if they were to come out with a moped style, maybe give your uh, thoughts in the comment below and let's compare what you think to what I said. Now my choices wouldn't be my first picks but they would be my minimum that I'd like to see them do. I mean, of course, I'd like to see them go higher in the voltage, a little more power in the uh, battery. And uh, something I didn't mention, it'd be nice to have an absolute minimum of 80 newton meters of torque. More would be better, closer to 100 would be better, but, but that's some of my uh, things that I'd like to see on the new, if it ever comes to be, electric x moped style e-bike and that's going to do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video hit that like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video, and until next time.